On 15 March, the nation witnessed a terrorist attack that demonstrated the weakness of New Zealand's gun laws. None of the changes that have been made in the past dealt with one of the most glaring issues we have that sets New Zealand apart from many other nations, the availability of military-style semi-automatic weapons. The attacker on 15 March took a significant number of lives using primarily two guns. They were assault rifles and they were purchased legally on an A category gun license, the standard license held by gun owners in New Zealand. The capacity of these assault rifles was then enhanced using 30 plus round magazines, essentially turning them into military style semi-automatic weapons. While the modification of these guns was illegal, it was done easily through a simple online purchase. The guns used in this terrorist attack had important distinguishing features. First, their capacity, and also their delivery. They had the power to shoot continuously, but they also had large capacity magazines. I absolutely believe there will be a common view amongst New Zealanders those who use guns for legitimate purposes, and those who have never touched one, that the time for the mass and easy availability of these weapons must end. Today I'm announcing that New Zealand will ban all military-style semi-automatic weapons. We will also ban all assault rifles. We will ban all high-capacity magazines. We will ban all parts with the ability to convert semi-automatic or any other type of firearm into a military-style semi-automatic weapon. We will ban parts that cause a firearm to generate semi-automatic, automatic or close to automatic gunfire. In short, every semi-automatic weapon used in the terrorist attack on Friday will be banned in this country. I acknowledge and thank those retailers who have voluntarily ceased to sell military-style semi-automatic and assault rifles. You will have seen the collective issues we face as a country and reacted swiftly, and I thank you for that. For other dealers, sales should essentially now cease. My expectation is that these weapons will be returned to your suppliers and never enter into the New Zealand market again. For current owners of the weapons we have moved to ban, I acknowledge that many of you will have acted within the law. In recognition of that, and to incentivise their return, we will be establishing a buyback scheme. The details of this scheme are being developed in parallel to the drafting of the legislation to enforce the ban. In the meantime, we are asking all current holders of military-style semi-automatic weapons and assault rifles to visit www.police.govt.nz. There they will find details of the weapons included in this ban. In the next 48 hours, a form will be available on this site that we are asking these gun owners to complete, identifying what banned guns they hold. The police will then arrange for these weapons to be handed over and eventually destroyed. Details of the weapons handed back by owners that are covered by the ban will also be taken to ensure that fair and reasonable compensation is paid once the buyback is in place. We do have guns in New Zealand that are used for legitimate purposes by responsible owners every single day, and that includes our rural community. They manage pests, they use for animal welfare, and also for recreation. I've been steadfast in my belief that the vast majority of these owners will support what we are doing here today because it's about all of us. It's in the national interest and it's about safety. I will work hard to retain that support as we work on the remaining tranches of reform that we must make to prevent an act of terror happening in our country ever again. Right, thank you everyone.